It's still raining. Easy English for language learners. Welcome to My Canadian English. If you're new here, I'm Shona Nichols. I make short videos to help language learners practice English. Today, I'm still talking about rain because it's been raining a lot where I live. Last week, I made this video called It Is Raining, and I showed you a video of my backyard with the rain coming down, and we talked about different verb tenses. In today's video, I'm going to show you a different video that I took at 1 a.m. last night in my backyard. I want you to listen, and I want you to look and see what you see. And then we'll talk about it. Ready? Now I have to warn you, you're going to think the screen is blank. You'll just see a black square, but it's because it was very dark until something happened. Okay, what did you hear? Did you hear rain falling? Did you hear a little bit of rain? Or a lot of rain? Let's listen again. I heard rain and a lot of rain. What did you see? Let's watch again. I saw the screen was black, and then all of a sudden there was a flash, and I could see my backyard. It looked like the picture on the right. So that's my backyard at 1 a.m., but it looks like the daytime. What happened? There was lightning. Lightning is when electricity comes from the sky and hits something on the ground. After the lightning, what did you hear? Let's listen again. Thunder. So after the lightning, often we hear a loud noise, maybe a boom or a crack. That's thunder. Thunder and lightning often happen together. But we need to be careful because lightning can hit your body and you can be hurt or killed. So here's a saying, when thunder roars, go indoors. I was safe last night because I was inside my house when I was watching the storm. If you want to read more about lightning safety, here are some resources. I'll put the links in the description box below the video in YouTube. Let's talk about some English language things for a minute. So in my last video, we used the phrase, it's raining. So that could be a little bit of rain or a lot of rain. Today, I want to talk about expressions or things I say for a lot of rain. It's raining hard. I'm gonna show you a video. It's not my video, but it's a video that shows it's raining hard. I also say, it's pouring. So it's pouring is kind of a strange expression because what does it mean to pour? You have some liquid in a bottle or a cup and you pour the liquid out. But if I say it's pouring, I mean it's raining and it's raining a lot. Expression number three. This is one of my favorites. It's raining cats 
and dogs. Let me show you a picture. Here's a picture of it raining cats and dogs. So this does not really happen. It's just uh, an expression. And we actually call this an idiom. So an idiom is an expression that we cannot get the meaning from the words. The fourth expression is, it's raining buckets. Hmm, what do you think that means? So here's a bucket with lots of rain. So maybe it's raining buckets means rain to fill buckets, I'm not sure. Expression five, it's raining heavily. Now here's, I couldn't find a picture for heavily, but let's look it up in a dictionary. I like to use an online dictionary. So I use the ESL Longman Dictionary. I'm going to click on the website. It's free to use. Then I'm going to put in the word I don't know, so heavily. And then I'm going to click on heavily. And here we go. Here's the definition. Let's read about heavily. So we see beside the number one, heavily means in large amounts to a high degree or with great severity. And if I go down a little bit farther, it rains heavily. And here's an example. It's been raining heavily all day. There we go. The last thing I want to do is talk about grammar. It's. Can you find it's in all five sentences? Each sentence starts with it's. What does it's mean? It's is a short form of it is. So we could change each of these sentences to it is. It is raining hard. It is pouring and so on. The meaning is the same whether we use it's or it is. This is called a contraction. So it's is a contraction of it is. A contraction is a shorter form of a word or words. It's your turn to do some talking. Here are some possible discussion questions. That's it for today. If you want to contact me, leave me a message or send me an email. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. If you want to find my videos easily, check out my website, www.mycanadianenglish.com. And remember, if you have not already subscribed, you should subscribe because it makes me happy. Bye for now.